but could you really survive, at least for a moment, inside one of these cosmic giants? Or would you inevitably meet the same bizarre fate? A stellar mass black hole, these things like say 10, 20, 30 times the mass of the sun, what's called the tidal gravitational forces. They're the things that raise the tides on the Earth or right, in the oceans, but they're very much stronger. And uh, for small black holes, they become rather large even before you cross the horizon. But for a very big black hole, a supermassive black hole, then according to Einstein's theory, you could fall, free fall across the horizon and notice absolutely nothing. You wouldn't, you wouldn't feel the tidal forces until you were in the interior and approaching the singularity. And I said that it's inevitable that when you cross the horizon, you go to the singularity, you get swept in by this river of space, let's say, or you could say the singularity is in your future and you're going to it. Different pictures are the same thing. And you get about, it's about a day or so in a supermassive black hole. So you cross the horizon, you'd be okay for about a day. Give or, it depends on the mass, right? And then, but ultimately, you, you go to the singularity, you get spaghettified, you feel the tidal forces stretched in one direction, squashed in the other, your atoms get ripped apart, and you go to the singularity, and then we don't know what happens there. As I said, in Einstein's theory, it's the end of time, 